that's all you said. I just need you to hang don't, out over here, sir. Whatever you do, don't put your hands on I'm not trying to. Put your hands on so we got uh, directed from the commander. I'm right here. You're on, you're on property. You are trespassing on the military installation. I'm not trespassing. So your your sergeant just admitted you. to me that there's no demarcation line. I'm trying to advise you the demarcation line is back okay. there. You are on so the look property, what it says. so you are subject it is to be detained, sir. What's going on, guys? Watching the watch from here out with the Amagansett Press at the Buckley U.S. Air Force Base here in Aurora, Colorado. And uh, we're going to take a look around, uh, see what we can see, and see if everyone here respects our First Amendment right to be taking video on public property. So uh, we'll see how it goes. I don't know if you guys saw my uh, video about the Aurora police officer who was uh, found passed out drunk in his uh, police car and wasn't charged, which according to the news story happened somewhere around here, around this Buckley Air Force Base here in Aurora, Colorado. Just uh, thought I'd mention that. Out on the sidewalk and uh, see if these folks at the Air Force Base honor and respect our right to take photos and video in public and from uh, publicly accessible areas of public property. You can see down here is the uh, gate. I'm assuming since there's ramps on both of these sidewalks here, you're allowed to walk across this, so I'm gonna get the median here for you. So we're going to see uh, how far we can walk up here. Not seeing anything that says we're in a restricted area. And uh, there's sidewalks right here. So. I believe we should be able to go up to this chain and fence. It says gate closed on it. No weapons, marijuana, or drones. So it appears to me like we're allowed to go up to this gate. Um, obviously, we're probably allowed uh, to go further than I'm going to ID and upon access to the base. I'm not sure how that works. I'm sure there's some way to figure that out, but we just have to stay out here. Uh, 24-7-365. Personnel and 
assume the property under their control is subject to search. This area is patrolled by military working dog team. Uh, so outside of this gate, we're fine. So we're just going to hang out here for a few minutes and uh, see how it goes. It's a lot of traffic. So not much to see over here. Big uh, garage door, hangar door, I don't know what you would call that. A uh, couple of doors. So it seems like there's quite a lot of traffic in and out of here. Some uh, police officers and a guy in military uniform approaching him. He has a press. I'm going to try to get across here for you guys. See if anybody will let me. There's no crosswalks on either side, so I see a problem. Doesn't want to identify for some reason. So these guys don't want to identify themselves for whatever reason. I mean, we got a name out of two out of three. How you guys doing? You got, are you guys familiar with your policy on identifying yourself? How you guys doing? I'm sorry, I'm in the middle of a conversation. Okay, Welcome cool. Today. How are you guys doing? Doing right? What's your name today? I'm Sergeant Gustafson. Sergeant Gustafson? Yep. Call off 7469. So how do you have a badge number and how do these other guys do? Everybody does. Okay, so I need to get name and badge numbers or I'll So you're on, you're on a federal installation at this time. Like I said, I need name and badge numbers who I'm speaking to, otherwise the conversation's over. I'm happy to speak to you guys, but you need to identify yourselves properly the way you're supposed to. Right? How can I help you out today? 
by identifying yourself would be a start. Not a problem. And then, and then I would be happy to speak to you. Did we do something to aggravate you? Or? So, no, I'm, do no. I seem aggravated? No. Oh, okay, so you're Officer Palma? Yes, sir. And what is your serial number, ID number? 5115. Okay. And now do you want to tell me what yours is? Because your sergeant told me that everything's got one. After you told me you didn't have an ID number. You're approaching somebody in your official capacity as a law enforcement officer, and I'm just asking you to identify yourself. 5113. Is that so difficult? Thank you very much. Okay, no. so now how can I help you gentlemen out? I already asked you that. You're no, I'm federal, asking you're you federal how federal you know. That federal restricted access is after this game. You're in the inbound lane. No, I'm actually in the median. How can we help you out? I don't need any help. I'm doing good. What do you need? You need, need, to, need to just be able to carry on with what I was doing, unimpeded. Yeah. If you have, We're if just having a conversation. Just, just, just recording anything I can see. We're just having a conversation. Yeah, yeah, no, and I told you, once you identify yourself, you seem like you're offended about something. I seem like I'm offended about something. I'm offended about the fact that you guys came out here. This officer lied to me and told me he didn't have an ID number. I feel like we're and you guys were professional. I don't think not identifying yourself is professional at all, so I'd have to disagree with you. We now did. we've gotten to a point did did where you stuff. have identified yourself after being almost forced to. So yeah, no, we're, so we're, we're beyond, well, your sergeant came out and told me that everybody's got ID number. So anyway, I don't want to argue some other things with you. I'm not looking to give you a hard time. How can I not help either. How can you help you out? I already answered your question. I don't need any help. So I'm asking you, you guys need any help. Anything you need from me? Sorry, Johnson, you good for a second? Yeah. Thank you. You're Officer Johnson? I am not Officer Johnson. Texar. I apologize, guys. You're in Detroit, right? so you deserve to be called right here. You're Texar Johnson. Do you have an ID number? It's my name, Sam. It will be over. It will be there. Thank you. Okay, that prohibits us from having a friendly conversation. Right? Roger that. Understand? Thank you. 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 What's the issue with identifying yourself? There is, there is, I mean, that's an uh, issue, but I'm not going to Does your policy require you to identify yourself, especially when you're acting in your official capacity as an law enforcement officer? Yes, to a certain extent, yes. Okay, yeah. so do you want to do that? We've already done that. You've identified yourself as Officer Johnson, or sorry, Tech Sergeant Johnson. Forces. That's all there could, there could be 15 Tech Sergeant Johnson. That's Johnson's correct. a very common last name. It is. So your ID number is, you have an ID number so that you can identify yourself in the public. That's where the conversation is. You know, you guys got to realize you come out and kind of shift what's going on here to make it feel like I'm giving you a hard time. I think you gave me a hard time. All you got to do is come out and identify yourself. What you call the sheriffs? You got them on the list? They'll tell you that they're, when, you, when they get here, you'll see that they're going to identify themselves without a restriction. It's a simple thing. Are we violating any of your rules right now? Don't want to answer that? Where's the sergeant? Where was your sergeant? Sergeant Baker. Oh, there you go. So are we breaking any of your rules or policies right now? So you're currently on federal installation. What's your name? I didn't give it. Okay, I, did. I gave you mine. I thought that was the right. deal. I well, gave you mine, you were gonna no, have No, no, no. Uh, yeah, I said I'd have a conversation with you. I okay. never said I'd identify okay. myself. Cool. I don't but, uh, Let me know when you give me your name, and I'll talk to you. Probably. Alright, so I'll just go back to doing what I was doing. First Amendment audit? First Amendment audit? What's that? First Amendment audit? What's that? First So these guys obviously have a problem with us being here and uh, taking video even though we're uh, in a public area. As you can see here, this sign says it's unlawful to enter this area, which would mean behind this fence. And we have been uh, in front of that fence line the entire time. So. Can I help you with? Coming out here, let you guys know. You 
can film on public property that way. So, you want to walk with me? I'll take you guys to the corner. You guys can film. I'm sorry, I just couldn't hear the beginning of the conversation. Hi, I'm Investigator Santiago with the Buckley Air Force Base. I'm Investigator Santiago. Do you have an ID number or serial number? Uh, so my ID number is actually Sierra 8052. Thank you very much. I'm I met one of the investigators that. here at Buckley Air Force Base. Okay. Just coming out here to let you guys know that it is your First Amendment right to go ahead and, and film, uh, but it has to be on public property over there at the edge. So if you want to walk with me, I'll take you over there. Well, my understanding is is that, and just to have a yeah. friendly conversation with you, since you were willing to identify yourself, I appreciate that. Absolutely. Um, up until this gate, where all of your rules are posted, saying yes, anybody going past this gate is subject to being searched, possessions be searched, it's right there on the fence. Mm -hmm. So on this side of the fence, that doesn't apply. This is public access. So actually, there's a pillar, and I know sometimes it can be kind of uh, difficult to see, but there's a, a pole that's in the grass there okay. with the orange, orange dot there. Okay. You have to actually be on the other side of that. A pole with an orange yeah, dot? Yeah, I'll, I'll take you over yeah, there. Let's go take a look at it. Where's your demarcation line? So that is actually the demarcation line for, for the installation here. Okay. So, like I said, you guys are free to, to film, but we just ask that you do it on that other side. Now, are you, in, do you work for the same department as these guys do? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So I'm just one of the investigators for the installation. So, are you one of the higher ups? So, I would say, um, what, so essentially, the way the military has it is we have an hey, investigation man. section, which is essentially the equivalent of a detective, detective branch okay. for the installation. Well, the reason I ask is because a couple of these guys, not the sergeant here, but a couple of these guys refuse to identify themselves. Okay. They're not in the okay. Uh, that's a scary thing. Right. You know, okay. I believe it's probably in your policy where they have to identify themselves. You're probably required to give name and serial number, ID number. And right? I can go ahead and I can address that. I wish you uh, would. Yeah. Once, once we get you to a safe place where you can go ahead and record, and I'll, I'll and be sure to address point, that situation. And let me just point out to you real quick. You guys might be wondering, see, a lot of times you think to yourselves that we're here to agitate or cause some sort of a problem. Okay, but what we just did was uncover a weakness in your security because okay. you have security officers who are not identifying themselves to the public. Okay, okay so that's the reason we're here. Fair. Okay, yeah, so, we so we're here that. for a productive purpose. Understood. We're not here for any nefarious activities. Everybody's learning today, yeah. yeah. And myself included. I yeah. just turned 50 yesterday. I'm oh, getting happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. My birthday was on Tuesday. Excellent. Happy birthday. Thank you. I, I have a feeling you're a lot younger than I am. I don't know. I don't know. Well, since you said that, we're 40. I'm 29. Let's see. I would have said 20 something. Yeah. Said, I don't know. I appreciate cool. it. My body uh, feels old. See, now this that. is it. You guys are smiling. <laughs> Your shoulders went down. We relaxed. That's where it's supposed to be, man. I mean, you know, yeah. you guys came out of there. You, you got to admit, you guys came out of the gate like we were looking shady. And I'm wearing a bright red vest. So you guys can see me. I'm not trying to secret myself. We're not hiding. This is my son. And we're all taking some video on publicly well, accessible blog. That's so, what we're doing. There's I'll let no you know, reason for everybody to get nervous. So initially, you know, we don't know what your intentions are, right? We right. don't know who you are. Right. So uh, we'll come out, we'll talk to you. I see you're not a threat. Right. Um, we just want to make sure that you are aware of where you can and where you can't record. And I want to make sure that we're not violating your rights and allow you to, to record. Uh, I get on that, but, but, but some rapport with the general public Absolutely. could be a very good de escalation technique. Yeah. And them coming out of the gate the way they did could escalate things to a place that it doesn't need to be. Okay. And once things start going up, it's hard to get them to start coming back down. So that's the reason, when that starts like that, that's the reason I get standoffish and I'm not willing to have a conversation because I don't want to be accused of instigating anything, agitating anything, because that's where these conversations usually wind up going. Gotcha. And then the police get here and then you guys in the corner somewhere without the benefit of me hearing tell them things I didn't even do, right. or that I seemed like I was being aggressive. And then, a couple of the guys even said to me, why are you getting upset? I wasn't getting upset, I was talking to someone talking to you. Okay. So it's, you know, demeanor and decorum is very absolutely. important. And it'll avoid a lot of problems. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, but I just want to let you guys know that you were free to film. So what you want to show me this red dot? So here? actually, it's it's this line right here. I know it's, it can be kind of convoluted. Is there a dot on the sidewalk over there, too? I could yeah. be wrong. So, so you you're, look, saying, you're saying this is your demarcation line? Right. This is our demarcation line right here. So if you look directly across the street, there's also another pole just like this. Wouldn't you normally have a line on the... So uh, not every installation has has that. I know some do, um, but not every every installation does. See, another part of what we do is, and again, not to give you a hard... You've been very yeah. professional. Well, you've been you. very cordial. I appreciate that. And I, no, and I appreciate you as much as, or more than you appreciate what we're doing. Yeah. Um, but part of what we're doing here yeah. is because, see, there's a lot of things where a lot of times, and I get it, for you guys, in order for you to avoid situations, but the Supreme Court rule that police officers are allowed to lie during the investigation. Right. So you're allowed to say things and ask things and do things that aren't necessarily accurate to try to 
further your investigation and get to where you're going, right? Yeah. So anybody could come out here and tell me that this pole is a demarcation line. Another day I could come back and somebody could tell me the curb is the demarcation line. Right. right. All I can go by, and what I'm seeing, is that your... The signage. Signage right. saying that from this point going forward, you're subject to search. Right. That's your demarcation line. This is public access. Right. Yeah. And so and I, I, could totally, I totally understand that and I understand your viewpoint. Um, and that's why we're all being educated here today. Right. And I'll let you guys know this point is is where you don't want to pass beyond, okay? Because that's where you can now be. Well, but it's, well, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Are you sure about that? Yes, sir. You're positive? Yes, sir. So why wouldn't they have signs here saying, you normally, in this situation, you would have signs that you have a post here. Yes, sir. You would have a sign here saying, from this point on, you're subject to search. Where that sign is on that black chain link fence. Right. Um, so that is that is an issue that has been brought up. Um, and that's something that is in the works. Um, but I'm just here to let you know that this is the, the demarcation line. Well, so you are free to film on, on this side. With all due respect, though, yeah. like I, I, and I get that's what you're telling me. Yes, sir. But that's just what you're telling me. But the fact is, this is the, that's a subjective opinion. Yes, sir. Because this is just a post. Okay. Right? You can say it's the tree. You can say it's the speed limit sign. So there's actually a red line over there with a red dot on the ground like you were referring to. Earlier. Right. I just went and verified. It's still there. Well, should that be on your entry it's, side? Well, so what we well, can right, do is, so I walk down here with you. Right. Let's just go look at the signs real quick. So I mean, you could come with right, me. Right, absolutely. We'll so, uh, and that's an issue that we can route up, and we can bring that up to the appropriate channels. Okay. So that way, you know, well, you order, if you want to come out here and exercise your rights, it, it is something that. Well, let me uh, tell you something. And it's even beyond me or anybody else exercising their rights. Right. The reason that I think it's very important for you to have a very clear boundary is. Right. How do you enforce a boundary if you don't know where it is? Right. And, that's and, and, and different right? investigators and different sergeants and different commanders and different people in that authority position could have different opinions of where that line is. Yeah. And that could create some serious problem yeah. and liability. Yeah. Um, so, what is it that you necessarily want to be talking about? The warning sign? At the one. No, the signs on the gate up there. Okay. So can you give me one second? I just got to Even your welcome from, 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 from earlier. Okay, absolutely. If you got one minute. Yeah, if you don't mind hanging out here. Um, yeah, I'll be right I'll with just, you momentarily. I'll just walk up to the gate right I'll, here. I'll stay on the outside, and that way, you, when you're done with him, we can just look no, at no, the let's, let's just hang out here. Because remember, at the end of the day, right now, the the property line is back there. Well, that's uh, what you're telling me. I want to clear. I want to establish right. that with you. And if that's where it is, that's it, where it, it is. It absolutely is. 100% right. it is. I want to um, look at this artist. Looking. So, and we will do that. If you don't mind just hanging out right here, I'll be back momentarily. What are you afraid I'm going to do if I just walk up to the time? It's just a matter of the fact that now you're on the military installation, and I. Essentially, like right now, I'm, I'm escorting you, right? I'm with you. Okay. Um, so, why don't we just finish what we're doing real quick? I'll get yeah. out of your hair and then and, you can and carry we absolutely with this will. Here. We absolutely will. If you just give me one moment, it shouldn't take too long, right? My problem is, is I'm not convinced you're giving me a lawful directive. Okay. And I obey all lawful directives. Okay. So, if we can go look at that sign, right. clarify, so then we then, can take it from there. So, then I will give you a lawful directive to stay, stay here, right? Um, and I will be back momentarily and we can continue our discussion. And we can go look at the sign. There's also a sign right here as well. Probably okay. Broken. You know what? I'm gonna go look at that. I didn't. I didn't look at that sign, so I'm gonna look at that. Okay. Do you wanna? If you, if you don't mind, just stand right here. I'm and just I'll, gonna go I'll look at that there. Sign. Uh, like I said, right now you, really you were being cool up until now. I don't know why you're so, switching no, no. up I, on me. And I, I don't I'm want you to get. I'm gonna go right over here and look at that sign. Whatever you gotta do. You I gotta don't do. want you to get the impression that I, I'm not being cool, but I don't. I need you to stay over here on the sidewalk, sir. Give me at least stop traffic for you. If you're gonna walk across. Is it urgent? I would like to address it. Okay. Um, yeah, just really quick. Okay. Um, like well, I said, I'm going to walk you, right over to that side. If you don't mind, just hang out here and uh, no, I don't proceed mind. to the I, side. I, you know, like I told you, I just turned 50 yesterday and I got a hard time with you told to sit. Okay. You know, so uh, I'm, just, I'm not going to tell you sit. I just need you to hang don't, out over here, sir. Whatever you do, don't put your hands on I'm not You're trying not to. Put your hands on me. So we got uh, directed from the commander. I'm let, just going to read your sign. Can I just talk to you really quick right here? Me and you? Go ahead. I gave you my information earlier right okay so the information we just got from our leadership that's what i'm trying to uh, address to you um our commander says if you guys cross the demarcation line that investigator santiago pointed out to you earlier there is no there, demarcation there, there sure is no there's not um so that's public record you guys can look it up just because you haven't your done your research demarc listen have no, there, it's the military so there's rules and regulations correct. on what a demarcation line is supposed to be you correct. know what that is correct you don't have a demarcation line okay so possible but no, that's still public absolutely. knowledge. Let's, okay? let's, be, let's be honest with each other. That's let's fair. Let's be truthful. That's fair. There is no demarcation line, and you know that. Because you, you can't. guys are trying to create one impromptu, and oh. I get what you're doing, but there is no demarcation line. Because you line. can't see Your it. Your demarcation line is that black chain link fence. No, sir. It's not. 
It is. It is not, sir. It is. And I don't think your commander wants you to violate my rights. I'm walking on publicly accessible property right here. <clears throat> That's Listen, incorrect. Anybody that pulls in off of that street can pull into here and pull up to your gate. And if they're turned around, they're turned around. But nobody's out here turning them around at any demarcation. That is, that is also correct. Of course it's I'm correct. not debating you on that. And you guys have no idea what my knowledge is and how far this goes is what I know and what I don't know. So tell me the truth. Be straight with me. Be honest with me. We're 20 feet away from that sign. I just want to go read that sign. Yes, sir. And all of a sudden, you're putting your hand out so, trying to physically stop me so from So I walking. told you that I would I would take you to the sign so you could read it, but I don't need you to be taken. Do it it's by right your, here. By yourself. Sure, you I can watch. The installation, sir. So you're gonna be detained. How am I gonna be detained? I'm walking up to this sign right here. You're on. Tell you're on property. Know. You are trespassing on the military installation. I'm not trespassing. So your I'm your sergeant just you. admitted to me that there's no demarcation. I'm trying to advise you the demarcation line is back there. You are on the property, so. You are subject it is to be detained, sir. To enter this area without yes, permission. Sir. Enter this area. Don't no, sir. So that, this sign. that yes. line is actually up there. I'm going to challenge you on that. Okay. And I'm going to stay here. All right, sir. So are you going to refuse to head back to the line, sir? I once somebody establishes for me where that boundary is. And I have established that. Sir, and it's that clearly is, marked. Is back no, there, sir. and it's clearly marked invisible. Okay. And I will be happy to stay on that side. Sir, but right now, you, what's clearly marked invisible is this sign. Yes, sir. If you don't proceed back to that line, you can be detained for trespassing, sir. No, I can't. Yes, sir. Even if I was trespassing, what you would have to do is give me a trespass warning, and then if I refuse to leave, then you could detain me. Sir, so you haven't given me a trespass warning. All right, sir. So. You need to head back there before you're a trespasser. If you need to trespass me, then trespass. If you want to trespass me from right here, that's your option. You can certainly do that. Okay. Do it the proper way, and I will, under duress, leave. Okay. Okay, and then you're going to get, and then I'm going to contact my attorney, and you're going to have a lawsuit on your hands. The that they're not applying to move back to the line. And notify your commander that I did. If you violate my rights, I'm going to sue you. And that's not what I'm here for. Okay, sir. Okay. Currently standing by this is a very clear sign. Process as trespassing. They continue to stand in the You guys really need to put that line out there visible. <clears throat> and, then, and then I would honor what you're telling me. So that's something we can absolutely route up to the chain. And you've already admitted to me on film that it's not properly marked. So you better be. All I want to say to you guys is, and listen, listen, listen to the age of the, the, the wisdom of age here. Yes, sir. Be very careful about how you proceed, okay? Because you're walking on very delicate ground, okay? Yes, and I don't want you to go there. I'm trying to avoid that. But let's even give up the signs that are on your gate there. I'll even take it a step back further because here's a sign that's even closer to the road. I'll go by this sign. But this is the first sign indicating anything going on beyond the point. There is nothing back this way. Anybody off of that road is free to turn onto this street. So, like I said, I'm just letting you know, sir, that, that that line is the line of demarcation. Okay, but I'm just telling you, if you trespass me off this property, you've already given me all the evidence that I need to prove that there is no demarcation line. Okay. Okay? And but if you violate you my, just, was, just know sir. that if you violate my rights, you're going to lose your qualified immunity, okay? And I'm going to go after you personally. Okay. Because you're the one making these decisions. Yes, sir. And I don't want to do that. Okay. So right. think about what you're doing. Talk to your commander, get it straight, make sure you dot your I's and cross your T's and do everything properly because I have. Yes, sir. And I don't want to go there with you. I'd rather you just say, you know what? As of right now, today, the demarcation line is here because that's what's visibly marked. No, sir. There so is the demarcation no other marking. line is what I showed you back there. You didn't show me anything. You showed me a green pole with a white reflector and on I, it in the middle of a grass field. And I informed you, sir, that that is a demarcation You line, could sir. inform me that any that that brick is a demarcation line. but i did not i informed you that that was actually the line of demarcation sir. well that is that that demar if that is your line of demarcation as you're claiming it is it doesn't meet the st military standard of what a demarcation line is yes sir and that's something that can absolutely and be you routed, agree with that that what i'm saying is that could absolutely be routed higher to have that have that adjusted well i think it's important that you fix it and i even went out of my way to explain to you we're here to find the good and the bad yes sir okay so i i i Thank you very much for your cordial demeanor, your professionalism. Okay, but I'm also here to point out what's not correct. Right. You are trying to enforce a boundary that's invisible, that doesn't exist, that gives the general public no indication of where it is. You have to understand that. Okay? okay. And that is not going to float. This is sign says if you go past this sign, you will be subject to search, you'll be subject to whatever. So this is a line. They're that's a map. They're bringing a map to show you, and I understand your concerns from earlier about how it's not marked, you're correct, and 
Investigator Santiago explained to you that that's something we definitely can work on and we will. Right. Um, but we're gonna bring you a map for today to show you. That way it's something you have. Um, our guys are working on that right now to print it out and route it up. All right, so you you told me before, and I appreciate that. Yes, sir. You, you told me before that this is a known issue. Yes. Right? How long has it been a known issue? So I, I don't have that answer for you. You don't want don't him to get... answer. Well, Let's we, be honest we with each other, and if we're not gonna be honest, just say, listen, I can't be straight with you. I because know. my job I, prevents I me from doing no, that. No, sir, honestly. Like, is it more than a month? More than six weeks? If I was a betting man, I would say yes. Okay, but so I, I... from the best of your recollection, there has been an improperly displayed demarcation line in front of this gate for at least a month. So Why isn't anybody fixing that? We don't have that answer for you, Because sir. It, had that have been fixed, we wouldn't be standing here having this conversation. I'd be on the other side of your demarcation yes, line. Sir. And you would have probably never even come out because I would have voluntarily stayed on that side. Yes, sir. And right? that's something we're going to address today. Like, yeah. like I How said How are you going to address it today? So am I going to stand here and watch you put in a, somebody going to spray paint it on the street? Possible. Like okay. I said, we're all going to If we could do that, that'd today. be great. I don't know the details of what, that's not going to be And you know department. what, I could just tell by the way you're talking, you're a very sensible individual and you're very professional. I appreciate that. Okay, and you're very, I, you have an undertone of trying to de-escalate, trying to be fair and reasonable, and I appreciate that. Yes, sir. Well, because that's all anybody wants to be, right. you know, that's, that's the way it should be. Absolutely. And I don't think I've treated you guys with any disrespect or I've been inappropriate. I get you on answers. Absolutely, you want to make sure things are getting done properly. Well, especially when I'm being threatened with trespass or possibly violating some sort of criminal well, code. at this point, I'm just trying to show you guys what you're requesting is your demarcation line. And, and that's, 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 that's the route we're taking. I so. think that's a better route than threatening me with trespass. Yes, you've already established that, you've already even verbalized that you've established that I'm not a threat. Right, absolutely. Your, your threat training is astronomical, so you could smell a threat from around yeah, the corner, I'm sure. <laughs> and you know that I'm not a threat. Well, thank you. Right? Right. And you guys seem very professional. You seem like you know what you're doing. So basically, I'm here to help you. Right. Because let's get this thing marked out. Let's get this figured out. And then you won't have this conversation with anybody again. It would do you good. Right. I right? agree. I agree. But just shooing me off and, and trying to intimidate me and make me go away, this is going to happen again. So um, right? we're not so trying maybe, to shoo you off. Like, I would love to continue the conversation there. Because like I said, we're not here to violate rights. We can continue a conversation. But there's really no difference. You, get, you know, I have three armed men standing here in front of me. I'm not armed. I don't, you know... No threat to you whatsoever. Right. So there's, I, I'm, I'm not presenting a threat. I'm even on this side. You're on that side, blocking your, your line. Because it's fun. You have your opinion where this demarcation line is. You might even have something to back that up in your mind that you've seen on a map. Okay. But for where I'm standing in the real world, based on fact, this is my demarcation line. Okay. I don't. There is nothing else. I don't know what an orange. Dot, how is anybody supposed to know that's not in the military? What an orange dot on the ground is. And that's a, that's that reasonable. could be a surveyor. That's, right. Absolutely. That could be the water company was out here and they're going to put a new right. line in. Maybe there's a, an electric transformer box going in. I don't know what that is. And we're not disagreeing with you. Um, we're and you just... have to admit that you could tell me anything is that line, and in the hopes that I'll just buy it and go away. So and that's the easiest. I mean, you know, it's like electricity. You just take the path of least resistance. You're, and you're absolutely right. Like someone could sit here and, and lie to you, but. I'm not in the business of lying. I know well, you don't, don't know, know me from anyone. Yeah, we don't know each other. Right, and absolutely. I don't believe you are in the business of lying. I don't right. think you would have achieved your position right. um, being a completely dishonest person. Yes, sir. But by nature of your position, you are authorized to be dishonest when needed. Right. Right? So it's not that you have to understand, I don't have any issues with law enforcement, that we don't have a problem with law enforcement. And I don't get that vibe. But we just can't trust you. Right. A hundred percent. And I think you understand that. You know, the general public really, if somebody just walks around with blind faith in law enforcement and just has 100% confidence that law enforcement's always done the truth, after the Supreme Court ruled that they can lie to you, that would be a foolish endeavor for me. And right. I, you know, I've been around the block one too many times. Would you do me one favor? If I could talk to you for a second. If you guys would just hang out right here for I'll me. stay right here. Awesome. Yeah, I have no intention of going because this is a demarcation line to me. Right. I appreciate your cooperation. So I'll stay right here. You got it. Once again, they leave Johnson holding the bag. <laughs> and you really should have to get, I'm sorry, Tech Sergeant Johnson? Not to uh, give you a hard time at all, but you really should identify yourself properly. I'm not saying right now. You've already told me that you won't, so I give up very easily, but you're, you're obligated to identify yourself, and I think you should. I think it's important, and I think you should be proud of who you are. I think you should be proud of the stripes you're in, and you should be proud that you have a U.S. military serial number, and that's what you do for a living. There's nothing to be ashamed of. And I think you also exercise a lot more authority by properly identifying yourself. You know, kind of a half, oh yeah, it's uh, Tech Sergeant Johnson, or 
you know, when a police officer approaches me and I ask them to identify themselves, they'll say, Officer Smith, badge 226. That's your policy and that's what you're supposed to do. And I know for a fact that that's your policy as well. When you're acting in your capacity as a guard here on the uh, security here on the base, right? So, don't worry about your privacy so much. It's easy to find out. I could find out how much you make a year. I could find out a lot of information about you and I'm not really even interested in any of that. And I'm not saying I'm going to. I could find out your serial number. I could find out everything about you. I could find out your whole history with the military. So not giving your ID number, it just kind of makes you look silly, to be honest with you. So just a little feedback from me. You can take it for what it's worth. And you still have an opportunity to do that if you decide you want to. I don't hold a grudge. It's just professional. And you seem like a professional guy, so why ruin it with something silly like that? You know, if I was asking you your home address or what your kids' names were, you could tell me to go kick rocks and I would understand that 100%. But when I ask you your name and serial number, your name and identification number, that's your, you're obligated to give that. And your emotions shouldn't come into play and distract you from what your duties are. You know? That's part of the reason we're here. So it sounds like they found it. Uh, they're working on printing it out right now. Okay. Uh, so it should be... Oh, you know, and that's all well and good. And where do we get that mark so the public can see it? Right, and that's right? the next step. That'll be the next step once we get it. Um, you brought up something that should be addressed. Um, and I'll do my best on my end to try and address it. Um, okay. I don't know who's going to listen to me. I will do my best okay. to route it. Um, but that's not going to be security forces, per se. That'll be more of a, another entity that'll take care of that aspect. No, and I appreciate that. And you're sure. being, like I said, I get a very good sense out of you. Yes, very, you you're an honest guy and you seem like you come across, you're not oh. trying to pull any wool over anybody's eyes. No, no. Um, but what I want you to realize is if you guys had taken the step of actually trespassing me from where I'm standing right now, you would open yourself up to a huge civil liability. So that's not the intent. That wasn't the intent. We just wanted to. Well, I was to told know. I was going to be trespassing. Right, so. And I understand that's an intimidation technique. No, not that's that. That's why I didn't leave. That wasn't my that. intent. That wasn't. No, no, not you. So, you know, Inspector. That was, so the, the reason, so those are our demarcation lines, right? So okay. this is what we're taught, right? Okay. Um, from a public eye, you brought up a good point. We know that they're there. Does everybody else know? Probably not. So at that point, you don't know that you're trespassing, right? So my job right now, I'm going to come bring out this proof to show you that you're trespassing. I'm going to give you the demarcation line with the base boundary. Okay. That way you see exactly the perimeter and you see the exact demarcation line that you're referring to. Okay. Because there's no sense in me charging you with trespassing. It doesn't make sense. When you won't be able to prove it. If you don't know that you're trespassing. Right. There's no... So that's that's our job. That's well, that's my, very that's very reasonable. Of it. Yeah, yeah. So. No, and Michael, and I hope you guys understand. We have nothing but the best intentions here. Yeah. I love right. my country. I was born here 50 years ago. We are huge supporters of from? the Constitution of the United States. I was born in New Jersey. Okay. Um, East Coast. And I I believe I don't know if it's like the police officers. I don't know if you guys do it every day, but I know you've sworn an oath to the Constitution. Yes, sir. Uh, do you do that every time you go on duty? Every time you reenlist. Every time you reenlist. Okay. So it is different than the law enforcement. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, but you did swear an oath to the Constitution. <clears throat> it really is important, you know. And, and, and if there are, like I said, how can you put yourself in a position to defend a boundary that you can't identify? Fair, totally fair. And and, and no court's going to listen to that, right? You know what I mean? So it's just foolish. It's easy. You guys have so many hands on deck here. Just get a couple of guys out here with a roller and some paint and put the line on the ground. That's the hard part. Well, we'll see. No, I understand. And it'll probably cost three or four million dollars to get it done. I don't know how much, right? Yeah. We'll see. Um, I'm sure something will come of it. But it's important. Bringing it up, right? Bringing it to our attention. You know, I mean, oh. simple, th simple things. I'm sorry, one second. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. going to say to you was is sometimes simple things can escalate to a point where they don't need to be now That's imagine god forbid i'm making things up here but imagine yeah. god forbid okay one sec i'll be right back hey no take your time
see if we can get these guys to bring out a map, show me where this demarcation line is, and we can get that properly established and then get some kind of commitment that they are going to go through proper channels and get the demarcation line uh, made visible so any member of the public um, attempting to come on to military property, base property, uh, will be clearly aware of where that line is. That would be great and uh, you know, I feel like we accomplished something here today. try to spin it off into that instead of coming out and uh, trying to come up with a solution. They come out like gangbusters trying to uh, intimidate and basically harass as far as I'm concerned. And just so you guys would know, I mean, back this way, there is absolutely no delineation, no mark, no sign, no indication of anything to do with any restriction. Yeah, so somehow this Until hole here with a small reflector on the end of it, uh, according to these guys, is supposed to be the demarcation line, which is very, uh, I don't think anybody would know that unless you work here and you are military or a guard or are familiar with this particular base, if that's even the case. So obviously these guys have a very fatal flaw here with their uh, boundary visibility and it needs to be addressed. They'll be stumbled upon them and uh, figured this out. Uh, even though they said they've known about it for at least a month. What do you think, you watch me? But no, really, where, where do you think the, uh, you think this is the line up here by the sign or you believe what they're telling us about it being? Back there by the Does, road. Doesn't make sense to me that it would be just a pole with a reflector on it. Well, first he said it was an orange dot on the ground, and then he said it was a pole with a white reflector, yeah. And, and those two things were in two different places as well, so I think he's even confused about where it is. Why do they all leave us here now? They're not concerned about what we're doing anymore? bringing a map out to show where this is? We're currently working it right now. Okay, uh, so what I'm going to ask you is, and yeah. I don't know if you're going to be willing to play along, but it would be an interesting little uh, experiment. Do you want to walk out there and show me where you feel this demarcation line is, and then when the map comes out, we'll look at, at where it actually is, and then what if you're wrong? So, um, if I'm wrong, I'll absolutely apologize to you, right? Well, you, you don't um, have to apologize, we just need to get it correct. Right, that's and all. that's what we're currently trying to work that issue right now, Okay. Uh, to make sure that everything is is uh, appropriate, right? Because I'll tell you what, and I'm not, I do my homework. Right. Okay, so I know a lot more than I'm allowing you to realize that I know. Your demarcation line, okay, where I could technically walk up to right now, the way things sit as they are today is that black chain link fence. Okay. I could walk right past this line. And that's and the research that do. you've done? Yes, GIS okay. surveys and yeah, that's, that's where it is. Okay. So uh, I, I, and I'm not doing that because I'm trying to meet you in the middle because there is another sign here. Right. But if, I mean, it's simple, if you look at what that says, it is unlawful to enter this area without permission of the installation commander. Right. So that means from this area, other side of the fence. It doesn't mean on this side of the fence, okay. uh, of the sign. Right? I understand. My goal and here is to establish where to this line is. Well. Not to give you guys a hard time. Right, right. And like I said, we're, we're trying to work with you as well. We're trying to go ahead and get it rectified. And uh, whatever needs to be routed up, we're gonna go ahead and, and uh, start that process of getting it routed up, right? Okay. Um, like I said, like I'm not the person that designs or places what uh, demarcation lines on the base. Um, no, and I get that, but let me just tell you, the person who's responsible, there is someone 
who's responsible for making sure that that demarcation line is there and clearly visible. Right. Okay, so that person has put the two of you in a very bad situation today. And I understand, I get that. It's not you and it's not your call. I understand that completely. But it's in your best interest, probably even more than my best interest, for this to get straightened out. Right. Right? Absolutely. Because that could, what I was going to say to you before was, simple nothing little things escalate into disasters. So, I mean, there are times that a guy in his car was pulled over by a police officer, went to grab his insurance and winds up getting shot. Right. You know what I mean? So, you could have somebody walk onto yeah, here uh, with zero uh, nefarious intentions, just doing their thing, and that could all of a sudden spin out of control into some mess that you don't want to deal with. Right. Right? So, that demarcation line is critical. I mean, and you agree with that, I know. I, I, but then the absolutely. remedy for that today, here, right now, because it doesn't exist, is not to start making up where it is and being unsure about it and telling people they're going to be trespassed and all that kind of thing. You know, the right thing to do is say, you know what, as of today, you caught us with our pants down. There is no demarcation line properly displayed as it should be as per military regulation. So I guess the fence is it for today, guys. And that's what it is. So I, I, I totally see where you're coming from. Um, and that has logic to it. Because you have to go by what exists. Okay. Right? So we have to go, go based off of our, our uh, regulation. And if we have well, if you have, we to, have that, that demarcation that says this is where it is, um, that's you're, what you're, we have to relay to you is that this is where it is. If it's uh, but not your, marked. But your regulation says that it needs to be marked in a very specific way. Okay. Not even just marked. It's not like somebody could just spray some red spray paint or so you have very specific protocol of how that demarcation line is supposed to be displayed and it's not there and uh I, I, and that opens you up to a mess i honestly can't disagree with you um it's not my career field i wouldn't know what those regulations are as far as well you should specific you uh, should. demarcation lines uh but is what your I can't soul tell you is your soul uh responsibility base access so Security? our responsibility is uh, protection of personnel resources on the installation. So it's very important for you to know where those boundaries are because right, you sir. also don't want to cross the, onto the other side of your de demarcation line outside of your jurisdiction to do something you shouldn't do. Absolutely. Because you're absolutely just, right. your jurisdiction ends on this base. Right. Right? Or whatever point is, des is designated there. So like so I said, whoever's... some installations have, have jurisdiction that exceed the boundaries of the installation uh, and that's the concurrent jurisdiction where them and the state share that share that jurisdiction. So. Okay, fair enough. But those boundaries are still very clearly marked. Any, I, let me just I tell you that I any, tell any, you that any military base I've ever been to before okay. in my life has had a very clearly marked demarcation line. Okay. No confusion about it. I've never been to a base where there's no demarcation line. And every installation I've been to has not had a set defined uh, demarcation line. I think only a handful of bases that I've, I've been to has had okay. a standard this is what it is. It is this highlighter green uh, line that you know goes across the You know what the problem the is with that, though, with it not being marked? Because let's say I'm on a sidewalk, right. far away from military base, and a police officer walks up to me and says, you can't take video. Yep. Now I know I can. Yep. But he's telling me I can't. Now he calls his commander, and the commander says, no, they can't take video. They get him out of there. That's the way it works. Yep. That's just somebody's opinion until it's established. Right. Right? Right. And so... Uh, when it comes when it comes to us, like if you're on public property, you can record all day. Well, as far as as far as I'm out. concerned, right. I'm on publicly accessible property right now. Right. And and I definitely understand you've you've voiced those concerns to me and your views of it. Right. And um, we're gonna we're looking into that at this moment. And now and now I'm I, I am honestly not trying to pat myself on the back at okay. all. Exact opposite. But my concern is, what if somebody less educated who didn't do their homework as well as I did? or maybe less well-spoken, or maybe English is a second language and they can't, they don't have the communication skills, okay, that I'm fortunate enough to have today, who knows if I'll have them tomorrow. Um, this could turn into a very bad situation for that person because they might not be able to talk their way out of it. I think the only thing that de-escalated this and put this in the is position that we're in right now is the way I'm dealing with it. Right. Right? Right, absolutely. It's, it's that dialogue, it's that dialogue of, not ramping things up and being understanding of one another. Right. And, and your guys need to try that first when they come out of the game. And that is absolutely something that we can wrap right. up and work okay. on that. Um, do you have a uh, Facebook page or a YouTube page? Well, let's see how this all turns out. Okay. And if things work out in a constructive way, I'll be happy to give you that information. Okay, absolutely. Okay. Um, and that's, you know, bringing that up as well. I want, before I leave, okay, 
I'm not, I can't demand you to do anything, but I'm requesting you as a member of the public, I would like Tech Sergeant Johnson to come over here and properly identify himself before I leave. Okay. Because he's, you know, he's standing here in a position of authority, an armed, badged person with powers of arrest. Yeah. You know that your policy dictates that he has to identify himself, name and serial number, ID number, right? And he refused to do that. Okay. So I don't want to file a complaint against Tech Sergeant Johnson. I want Tech Sergeant Johnson to have a wonderful day and a happy holiday. Okay. You know, but these protocols are put in place with the best intentions. It doesn't always work out that way at the end, but they're there for a reason. Right. Right? So right. these guys, you know, you're coming out and you're, 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 you're huffing and puffing and barking orders at people. First things first, identify yourself, establish that authority, right. and then move on from there. Absolutely. Okay. I, so, I, I don't disagree with you. Seems like you and I could go have a beer and have a great conversation. <laughs> I don't drink, but... Neither do I. Yeah. <laughs> that's, oh, oh, that's, yeah. that's good. So just a uh, conversation. January 5th will be a year. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's awesome. I didn't drink a lot, but I just yeah. gave up cigarettes seven years ago. Yeah. Gave up beer. That's awesome. I'm too old. I want to live. I just... The hangover that you get the following day, just this is not worth it. All right. Yeah, so I just kind of pulled away from that. No, good for you. Yeah. And you're a young guy. Thank you. How old are you? I am 29. 29. Yeah. Seems to be the age of the. Uh, everybody's 29 today. I wish I wish I oh, was really? there with you. It's... Yeah. Did somebody else say they were 29 before? Yeah. Yeah. Dick, uh, the, the sergeant. Uh, sergeant. Okay. Yeah. 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 No, I, I I wish I was on that same page with you. Believe me. Yeah. Yeah. It's a long time ago. But it is, you know what, and I hope at the end of the day, and again, not trying to pat myself in the back because I'm here learning as well. Right. And that's why I do this. My son and I do this to educate ourselves. And if we can help somebody else out along the way in some minuscule way, then that's great. Absolutely. You know? Um, it's but just it's about informing the public and letting, not violating your rights, right? Well, at the same time. When, when ignorance is no excuse for not knowing the law, it's a dangerous thing to be ignorant. I don't disagree. Extremely, like life-threateningly on, dangerous. On every side. So on every side. If I can educate one person about one small issue, about one thing today, right? I feel like I did something. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. And my son's getting a good education, and he's learning how to deal with people and how to interact, and it's a, it's a good thing. All right. You give me one moment. Take I'll your time. I'm here. lines that spot over there as law enforcement official we respect your rights however um, we're giving you a direct order to step back off federal I thought I was gonna be showing a map they can't bring one out but they can't bring one out for whatever reason so what I need you to do if you can step back there I will bring one out to you I will that will be my goal today I will print one out for you but I need you to step back there or you will be detained right now for trespassing okay well you can't detain me for trespassing so what I'll do is I will walk out with you. Okay. Right now, if that's okay with you, okay? You show me where you believe this demarcation line is, okay? And then you promise me that you're going to bring a map out there. We'll verify that that's where it is, Deal. and I'll get out of your hair. Let's do it. All right. Appreciate right. it. Let's do it. You got it. Walk on out. Hey, we're all about. You guys can rock that stuff. Thank you. Want it's, on, it's on the sidewalk on this side. Okay. Right now, if it's, and if that's it's that's not that's where it is, and the ones that are being back here, they're going to come back. Well, adhere to your demarcation line for now. But then what I'm going to do is also, and probably, I know the military takes forever to get anything done. I implore you to put in a request. I'm not going to put in a request. Okay. I'm going to, you guys, and have, we're already, gonna, you guys have already told me you would do that. Oh, absolutely. And, and, and you and know I how am, to do that more efficiently than I do. But what I am going to do is... Two requests is better than one request is what I'll say. Okay. I just well, didn't want you to step on there. Well, I, I mean, there. absolutely. But well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back in about a month or so okay. and see if this demarcation line is here. And if not, we're going to wind up doing this whole thing all over again. Sounds good. I'm going to try and bring this map out to you at a minimum. That's my goal today, like okay. I said. Alright, so this is the demarcation line. See, this is the public sidewalk. Now, where's the orange dot? So the red dot so, is right here. The sidewalk right up here. Good. Red dot. Boom. Red, orange. Goes across. See it? Oh, no. All the way across. Sergeant Gustafson? That's me. Sergeant Gustafson, you're telling me that this orange dot is the demarcation. Correct, right? all the way across. Okay. Inspector. In Investigator Santiago. Investigator Santiago yep. is telling me that it is that green post with the white reflector. And that's my job today. I'm going to go get you some clarification. So you see where the confusion and, and is. I'm going to come back out too. Once so we, now, so once now. Once we get that. 
trust us and detain you. Which line are you going by? The commander said this line. He said the dots right here, this is the line he wants you guys behind. So does that mean that so you're incorrect if the commander's saying it's this line? I am line? incorrect, absolutely. Okay, so the fact that you're incorrect about where it is means that the commander might be incorrect about where it is. It means that I might have just been trespassed for obviously no, for no reason. So we need to get this map. Like, and that's what I'm going to go do. Uh, if you could stand by right here. How I gotta long do you think that'll take you? I'm going to do my best. They said they know where it's at. I just got to tweak it a little bit and bring it back out. I'm not going to change any lines. What do I have to do? Redact a few? Uh... I got to take building numbers off, stuff like that. Build okay. I got to delete some buildings, but you'll see. He said to just show base. you where that demarcation line is. Okay. Make sense? Um, Makes sense to me. So we can all go home happy today. And as long as we figure out where this is, yeah. Absolutely. I'm gonna work it right now. Because otherwise, if we can't figure out where it is today, come I'll come back. back tomorrow. And I'll tell you what, guys, just so you know, I am 50 years old yesterday. Okay, never been arrested in my life. Well, I haven't had a traffic awesome. ticket in 26 years. That's awesome. Okay? That's awesome. Good insurance. But if you guys can't establish where this line is for me in some concrete form, might be my first time because I don't give up that easily. Okay. I'm gonna go make it happen. I'll be right okay. back. You got it. Yeah. And then the next step after that will be getting it actually installed out here. Right? I don't disagree with you. But now, okay, so what happens if somebody pulls in off the street, right? They're allowed to pull in here. They can go all the way up there before the gate, make a new turn and pull so, back out. So, you I mean, it, it happens where people, uh, sometimes they think it's a toll road or sometimes just make a mistake and make a wrong turn. Right. Um, we turn them around. It's, that's quite simply it. It's, it's, We'll just turn you around and have you head off the installation. Right. Yeah. Why go through that? So it's just a you matter of I mean? some, yeah. pe some people make that mistake. They're not necessarily paying attention, or they're just they're just driving and they made a wrong turn. Um, and so it's not anything malicious. It's, it's a mistake that they made turning turning the wrong road. Or uh, what we've had happen is someone that's trying to go to uh, Dunkin' Donuts or okay. uh, Taco Bell, and what. Google Maps is telling them is this is the best route to go. Right. And next you know they're making the wrong turn. Right, right. Yeah, and so then Google will send them just turn away or they can turn away on their own. Now but let me ask you something. In your experience, demarcation yep. lines are painted on the ground, right? And then do you also have signage to go along with them? So, not necessarily. As I said before, um, I've been to several installations that do not have a clear, hard, this is the line that's there. Um, I think I've only been to <coughs> one or two that has had a a solid line, whatever color it would be, whether it's a solid red line or whatever that goes across the road. Um, so I, I don't necessarily have. An, an but see, there's, all right, but there's a lot like his um, sergeant that was just here, Gustafson. Yep. Okay. He, uh, to the best of his recollection, says that it's probably over a month that this has been a situation. Okay. Okay. So if it's been a situation, has it been? Discussed. I understand it's not been addressed yet, but has it been discussed? Is anybody working on it? Is there any intention of remedying the situation? Because basically what you have is a known issue. Right. So it's kind of like I call up the city and I say there's a hole in the sidewalk. They don't fix it for a month. And then I trip over a month later. Now I can sue the city. Right. So if you guys have a known issue and you know there's an issue going on here and there's something that's not up to protocol or there's some sort of a confusion, that should be corrected as quickly as possible. I, I absolutely don't disagree with you. How are we doing? Good. Good. Are you an employee of the... Yes. Yes, sir. Um, do you mind? Take, the, take a step back. Or, uh, I'll come back up and talk Whatever to you. Whatever you got to do. Alright, guys. So we have uh, Aurora Police Department just showed up. And it's vehicle number Got the nine, PD two, out here, too. 92218. It's a vehicle number. See if I could zoom in on his uh, name tag here. Grams. G R A M S E. agree with what you're saying um, that if you slip and fell on a public sidewalk you can you can sue the city right so we are 
gonna route up uh, open to the proper proper authorities and proper channels okay. to make it something more distinctive there or Nine, whatever one, two, one, one. whatever guidance or regulation there is. Like I said, I, I'm I don't know what the specific regulation is in, in the sense of what demarcation mark what excuse me what demarcation line has to be what. Um, but what I can do is I can absolutely route that. Out. Well, but either way, yeah, because like I was saying, with uh, Sergeant Pepsis, he stated that it was an issue for right. at least a month for his knowledge, right? Okay. So you need to eliminate that the possibility for that. I don't problem, disagree. Right? Yeah. So whatever needs to, whatever needs to be needs to be. Yeah. Absolutely. Just hang up, hang out here. No um, problem. And yeah. we're gonna go ahead and try to try to get a, an answer for you. Sorry, Gus is gonna work it. Yeah, no, I hope um, we can get it figured out. And then I'm gonna come out here as well. And if it's something that we're all gonna be educated on, we're all gonna be educated on, okay? okay good. Um, like I said. And like know. I said to you, we just wanna follow the rules. So if that's, Absolutely. if your demarcation line is this orange dot, you'll right. never see me on that side of it again. Okay. If it's not, and we're gonna, guess where I'm going. <laughs> you're gonna go to wherever it said it was. Exactly. Okay. And that's, that's all. And that's fine, and that that's is all. that is that is your right. Because I mean, you know, in order in order to in, like I said, in order to enforce a boundary, you need to know where it is. Right. That's all. It's as simple as that. Understand. Because on a different day, a different person could say it's in a different place, and then right. that becomes very subjective, and that creates liability for everybody. What are you guys trying to accomplish? What are we trying to accomplish? Take some video. Can I get your name and badge number, please? You guys are cool too, as long as you're not in traffic. See, now you spoke to me. Now I need your name and badge number as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, and we're not trying to cause any problems. We're, we're, what we're trying to do is take video and photographs from publicly accessible areas. That's fine. That's it. Like I said, as long as, as, long as you're not uh, obstructing traffic or, or committing a crime, then we have no problem. Exactly right. And I'm saying it too much these days because it's a big milestone, but I just turned 50 yesterday. Uh -huh. And I've never been in trouble in my life. So don't don't intend to start today. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Okay. Have a good day, gentlemen. You need us any longer? No, sir. Okay. Oh, thank you for coming, okay. And uh, the second Aurora police vehicle that pulled up is nine one two one one. Officer Gramsey, G-R-A-M-S-E, and Officer Rivas, R-I-V-A-S, of the Aurora Police Department. what we can about the map okay. uh, but the best way to get a map probably the quickest uh, is to go through public affairs and put in a request through public affairs and if that's not quick enough put in a freedom of information act request uh, for that map to get the the best accurate map there okay i hear that but i, I already know where it is i've already done my homework you, it's, I, basically what's going on here is you guys need to figure out where it is okay because you're sergeant okay and I'm, again i'm not trying to give you a hard time but i just want to get to the bottom of something okay so your sergeant indicated that we're looking at this orange dot. Okay, earlier you indicated that it's that green fence post with the white reflector on it. Right. That's probably about 40 to 50 feet difference. So between the two of you, you're confused to where it is. So how do I figure that out? And then you telling me where it is, one of you, you, you can't both be right. You can't both be at this orange dot and over at that green post. Right. So one of you is wrong. So, so who do I listen to? So this, this, the red, this red or orange, whatever color it is, uh, that's going directly across the road. That's what, that's that's the uh, demarcation line. Well, that's what you're telling me. Right. But Sergeant, this is what Sergeant Gustafson said. Right, and that's that's this so, is what so, we're. This so is then what why, it's be. why did you tell me it was the other line before? See, we just I, so we just so, in a half an hour we just moved the demarcation line, right? I was mistaken. This, I was completely. Oh, I was but completely this is so this is the problem. There. This is the problem. Right. right. I, 
very very so valid point with with that being the case so you have to admit you're not you're not a hundred percent sure where it is you believe you know where it is you sincerely believe you know where it is but you're not a hundred percent sure do we agree on that so uh no but sir, can, the demarcation can, line for so, today's purposes right now because that's what you've established here today but you established a half an hour ago that it was over there what so so can we agree that I, there's can we not not to pin it on you but can we right. agree can we agree that there's some confusion as to where this line is so i was absolutely incorrect and i was educated today this is the demarcation line okay so who's telling you that so that's what's been uh, directed from higher ups to this. okay so. now just as you were mistaken and i've been mistaken a million times in my life could it be possible that this higher up is mistaken is that possible i couldn't give you an answer to that I could well the only person question. who's not possibly wrong is god so if you're I'd religious to, absolutely or whoever you believe in so i'd have to assume that there is a minuscule chance at the least that your commander is incorrect just as you were incorrect just like i could be incorrect just like sergeant gustafson could be incorrect any of us can make a mistake so that's where it's very subjective so do you want to take a chance detaining me and issuing me a, tr a, a trespass warning for something you're not sure of because that could either work out very well for you or it could work out very bad for you and there's this preconceived notion that anybody out doing First Amendment audits, and I'm not saying you're wrong, or I'm not saying you're right, but there's a preconceived notion that anybody out doing First Amendment audits are just a bunch of yahoos trying to kick up dirt in people's faces and create problems. So I don't think you got that, that, that feeling from me today. Not at all. And that's not what we're all doing. Some of us are actually out here looking to affect change, okay? And the most effective... And what I would tell you is you are absolutely going to affect change. Well, and sure. the, most, the most effective way to affect change, historically, is through civil disobedience. That's the way things get done. No, but nothing gets changed by people following false rules or false directives or subjective ideas. You know what I mean? It's, that's not the way the world works. The only people who have that privilege are judges, and we're working on that too. Um, but no, seriously, it's a demarcation line. It's not a demarcation area. It's not a demarcation zone. Right? It's a line. It's supposed to be a very definite, finite line. Well, like I said, I'm not sure on those specificities of what it has to be, well, and I don't you, want to give you. Well, then you shouldn't be. You should be enforcing it. Honestly. Like I said, that like, would be like me coming out here with this camera and saying I really don't know how to use it, but I'm here to do some videos. That wouldn't make any sense. So you need to know where this line is, like I said, more than I do, I would imagine, because then the next time somebody comes out here, because it's going to happen again, somebody else will come out. I'm Don't sure you've it. had people here before. So the next time somebody comes out, imagine if you can stand here with the full knowledge that you are absolutely rock solid, 100% concrete positive about where that line is. You'd feel so much better about enforcing it. The person that you're trying to enforce it with would be clear on what it is, and it would be a much healthier situation right because this is a bad situation either my rights get violated right or i violate your supposedly lawful order and get trespassed from a military base which i don't want to do either i, I will if i have to but not really what i want to do i've got other things i'd rather do today so there's really the way this is set up there's really no way for it to end well it's a lose-lose right where if somebody just came out here and visibly painted a line across the street, then you, there you have a win-win situation. So it's a simple, I mean, you're literally talking about somebody out here for a couple hours with some paint. That's all it is. And it's got to be a certain width, and it's got to be a certain color, and it's got to be a certain... But whatever that is, right. you adhere to that, and you do that. Right, like you I know? said, I'm not sure what the specificities of that would be. You know, if there's a little, if there's not enough air in the football, it creates a lot of problems. You know, it's, football is supposed to be aired up to 12 pounds. You air it up to 12 pounds, especially in the Super Bowl. I don't follow sports, so, so if the, if I'm the, not if sure. A, if a property line is supposed to be delineated, you make sure it's delineated, especially on a military base. It's not a 7-Eleven. You know I mean? I mean, this is serious stuff. Right. You know, one day, I'm not that guy, but one day somebody could come here with very nefarious ideas and intentions. And don't take it the wrong way, but it'll probably be one of your own, because those are the only people who do those sort of things on military bases. So you got to be careful. You know? And these things have to be figured out. And they got to be, it's very, it's very important. Absolutely. And we're absolutely going to route, route that up. Okay. Um, as soon as I depart, I'm going to go ahead and start the process of routing up. I encourage you. But so, so what you're saying is there is no map coming. So 
I know that last last night I spoke there, they're working to see if they can get a map, but they said the best bet for a map is to contact public affairs. Um, and if public affairs may not, not yeah, may but not see, be I don't need enough, the map. I know where the line is. You guys would need the map to prosecute. So you're gonna have to come up with it anyway. Okay. Right? I mean, you can't threaten to trespass somebody if you don't know where they're standing. Like, you've gotten very concrete about the fact that this orange dot is the line. Because you've just had to make that decision. That's the determination. That's what the commander is telling you. That's the way we're going to handle it for today, and let's get this guy off the property. Right? I can't answer that question, sir. Uh, you but, need to be able to answer but, these questions. But, what, I, what I was uh, educated on is this is the line of demarcation, sir. Okay. So why was somebody going to show me a map, and now they're not? Was somebody told not to, or you just can't find the map? I don't have that answer for you. Like yeah, I said, I'm you out, no, I'm out here talking to you. I so can we find answer. out why they're not bringing the map out? Because I'm standing here waiting for a map. Like, like I said, coming. last night I knew they were they were working to get the map, uh, but it's not a guarantee they'll be able to get the map out here. Uh, the best bet is to contact public affairs and go through public affairs. And if public affairs is not quick enough, then a freedom of information. How do I do all that before I get trespassed? How does that resolve my situation today? I'm not sure how it would resolve your situation, um, but that's honestly the best course of action is to go through PA and uh, Freedom of Information Act if we're unable to, to get you that map. Well, you're already telling me you're not. Right? I didn't say we're not. I said we're working, but it's not guaranteed that Oh, so there is a chance to. they might still be bringing it out. Quite possibly. Doesn't sound like it, but okay. Um, all right, so what is your commander's name that's giving you this information? Because I'm going to need to contact his office as well. Okay, it'll be Major Fairnash. Major Fairnash. Yes, How do sir. you spell that? Uh, I know you have a notebook. I can write it down for sure. you. Sure, absolutely. You want to just put it on one of the back of the officer's card here? But, uh, put it right on the front. Okay. Can I borrow a pen? Need a pen, yeah. we got to get you prepared. <laughs> How is it? Nice pen. Yeah. One of the bullet pens. Space pen. Writes upside down on the wall. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. That's fantastic. And it fits in my wallet. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's awesome. <laughs> but so what's going to happen now is, because I get, I get the sense that the map's not coming out. That's fine. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to take off and I'm going to, as long as you can promise me that with all due diligence, you're going to work on this situation and get it corrected. Absolutely. Because it's been this way for over a month. Absolutely. And over a month to me means it's always been this way. Because there was never a demarcation line here. So this is a permanent situation that's been like this for a very long time, right? Amber alert? Injured police officer. Yeah. See? These are the things we try to avoid. Um, but yeah, so no, if you, what I'll do is I'm gonna, I wanna meet you in the middle, like I've been doing okay. the whole time. Yeah. If you can that. look me in the eye and assure me that you are gonna use all due diligence and get this figured out to the best of your abilities, <laughs> Absolutely. okay, and, and, and I mean that, because I know you can't just come out here and do it yourself, Yeah. Um, or at least get some plan of action in place, or even if they just come out here and put a, a, one signpost with a small sign that says demarcation line. Yeah, Anything, I can something. I can tell you that the minute I I depart here, we 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 depart. I'm gonna go ahead and, and begin to work that issue. Okay. Do you have a business card by any chance? So if you want to wait out here, I can head back to my office, get a business card, or you can just just you. give me your name and ID. yeah, it's gonna be Investigator Angel Santiago. Uh, my ID is Sierra eight zero five two. Okay, zero yeah. eight five two. Just yeah. so I have that. Um, I can actually write it down for you. If you want That's fine. It it's on the. Okay. It's on the video. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is is I'm gonna leave for now. Based on okay. the fact that you and I had a gentlemanly conversation and absolutely. you're assured you're going to look at this. I, I okay. absolutely am. So today is, because this is how I do things, uh, today is the 18th of December, okay? I'm going to come back on the 18th of January, okay? And we're going to do this all over again. Okay. And if I come out here and there's a demarcation line here or anything indicating me to me that this is the demarcation line, that's an official sign or indicator, I'll respect that and I'll stay on this side of it. If there's nothing here, we're going to go through this whole shindig all over again. And at that point, I will be willing to be trespassed, arrested, whatever you want. Okay. And I appreciate your being upfront honest. Okay. And I'm, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and, and work that issue. Okay. Absolutely. And now what I will also be willing to do is if you want to uh, contact me and let me know, let's say you find out in two weeks that it's going to take three months for this to get done. 
So you want to let me know, hey, don't come back in a month, come back in three months. Okay. Because this is what we're doing. I'd be happy to give you an email address. Do you, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't sure. mind that at all. Okay. So, and I'm also going to tell you where you can see this video. Perfect. Okay. Only and the only reason I'm doing this is because you've been a gentleman with me. Now Thank I'm not. You. I appreciate I'm not that. a fool. I'm not saying I believe 100 percent of what you're telling me, but I do appreciate the fact that you're a subordinate working under a command, and your hands are. It's limited what you can do. So we we'll leave that at that. The name of the channel is Amagansett Press. Do you mind if I write it? I know you have a notepad. Do you mind oh, if I write no. it down? And once again, do you mind if I let me see if I have a pen? Do you have a pen? I do have a pen. You do. Okay. Fantastic. Right, right on that sheet, tear it off. Absolutely. So it's A M A. A M A. G A N. G O M A. Jeez, this pen is not that great. It's a gel pen. Oh, boom. Oh, there you go. Do you mind if I just use that? No, not at all. All right. A M A. A M A. G A N. G A N. S E T T. S E T T. So two words? I'm against it, press. Okay. And uh, it's at gmail.com. And I'm against it, press is the name of the channel on YouTube. On YouTube? Yep. Oh, phenomenal. So it won't be up for a day or two. Okay. But and um, I understand you guys have, have your rights and I'm willing to respect it, but would you mind providing me your name? I'm not going to give you my name. Okay. Um, you'll be able to figure it out. I'm not hiding who I am. I just okay. don't... I don't give my name unless I'm lawfully required to. So it's another exercise of my rights. And I respect because that completely. we value the Fourth Amendment as much as we value the First. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. If you had a lawful reason to give me, for, for me to give you my name, I'd give it to you. Okay. Well, uh, thank you. You can definitely contact okay. me through that email address. And uh, uh, can you verify this? Uh, I spelled it correctly? Amagansett Press. Yeah, Amagansett is a small village on Long Island. Oh, that's awesome. Are you from New York? Yeah, I am. Oh, I'm from Connecticut. Oh, there you go. Cool. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Okay. So I win, I win because I think New York's a better place. I don't by, by about this much. No, I, I, I don't disagree. I'm, kidding. I'm from Central Connecticut. So. I think Colorado's a better place. Yeah, Colorado's beautiful. Yeah. How long I, have you been here? Uh, I think I've been here almost two years now. That's it? Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm coming from the East Coast. So. Right on. Yeah. Did you, were you in the military on a base? I am. Yes. Back home? Yes. Very cool. Absolutely. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. most nice. definitely. All right, so I, I, would, I look forward to, to watching watching the video and okay. watching any other video. I think it's always uh, very interesting to, to educate ourselves and kind of uh, go ahead and, and broaden our scopes. Well, it's like uh, The Art of War, which I'm sure you've read The Art of War. I actually have not. Well, you I know of The Art of, Art of War. Yeah, know your enemy. Also. If you don't know your enemy, right. you're lost. And the other thing is, you, I'll leave you with this choice, Nadia. You win every fight that you don't get to. And that's, there's, that's, and there's no reason for a guy like me to be in any sort of a disagreement, any sort of a fight. Right. We're on the same team, we're on the same side, from two different perspectives, and we have similar goals. Right. And if we can get those goals achieved, we did something here together today, and it's a better world. I don't disagree with you at that's all. That's all it is. I don't disagree at all. All right? Yeah. All right, good. Well, and you have my email address, so if, if I don't hear from you, okay. I don't know how your thing works with classified emails and all that, so I don't know if you're able to email me. Um, but if I don't hear from you by January 18th, we'll be back. Let me, if I, write, let me write that down too. Okay. I, want to be sure, I didn't mean to put my hand no, in there. No, no, that's for you. okay. And if I do hear from you with some updated information, I'd be happy to adjust my schedule. Okay? Yeah, absolutely. We're very fair. We're just looking yeah. to make things fair for everybody. All right. Would you be willing to shake my hand? Absolutely. All I'd right. love to. It was if nice we knew each other better, I'd give you a hug. <laughs> It was nice talking to you guys. Right, buddy. Same um, I'm going to work that issue, okay? And the last thing I want you to promise me is, which has nothing to do with all the Educate our patrolmen. They need to identify themselves properly. I've already got that in my mind, so go ahead, go ahead back that's and have it, a conversation. Because that's a, huge, that's a big liability for you. Right. You know, so it's an easy step to take. Absolutely. But you've been a true gentleman, and I thank you for that. Thank you very much. All righty. You gentlemen have, have been very compliant. And thank very you very much. Willing to work with us. All righty. Well, all we right. might not be that way next time, so <laughs> let's get it right. I, I'm checking. Yeah, all right, absolutely. Brother. Take thank care, gentlemen. Thank you very gentlemen. much. You have a good day. Thank you. Take care. Take care. Happy holidays. Same Me to you. Too. Well, all right, guys, this has been the Buckley U.S. Air Force Base here in Aurora, Colorado. All right, guys. And, uh, that was our experience here at Buckley. That was our experience here. Uh, we'll see how it all works out in a month. So uh, we'll be coming back in a month to see if there's either a uh, demarcation line actually put here within that time frame. Um, or if we're going to have to come back and push the issue. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. 
Uh, that's gonna be it for now. Washing the Watchmen here with Amagansett Press at the Buckley Air Force Base in Aurora, Colorado. See you in the next one, guys.